It's an exhilarating activity that can be incredibly dangerous, parasailing. There are no federal rules governing it, and outside the United States, you really are on your own. Lisa Guerrero with the story of a woman whose parasailing adventure in Mexico came this close to costing her her life. Here we go, Katie. When Katie Malone launched into the air on a parasail, ominous storm clouds filled the sky. But she never imagined her rope would snap in the rough winds, leaving her drifting a thousand feet in the air. Oh my God. Everything just broke loose and I just started praying, just, you know, please don't let me be paralyzed, don't let me die. The 31-year-old massage therapist from outside San Diego was violently tossed around for 45 minutes before crashing two miles away. Filming below, her good friend Ben Moore watched her disappear from view. From the height that she fell, uh, I didn't think there was just any, any chance in hell that she would have survived. I had broke 11 bones total, so I had broke uh, my skull, uh, my jo jawbone, cheekbone. She was medevaced from Mexico to San Diego, where doctors put her jaw back together with 14 screws. Do you feel lucky to be alive today? Very lucky to be alive. When I was spinning out of control coming down, I just didn't know if this was going to be it or not. Parasailing horrors have happened before in Mexico, very often triggered by rough weather. In 2012, a gust of wind blew this nine-year-old into a building. He survived. Well, I don't know if this is a good idea. And when I investigated parasailing operations in Mexico, the crew sent me into the air as storm clouds loomed, a situation eerily reminiscent of what happened to Katie Malone. Wow, and here comes the wind from the storm. Look again at Katie's liftoff. There's dark storm clouds heading her way. So this was a terrifying experience for Katie. I mean, being trapped up in the air over 1,400 feet for 45 minutes, basically just uh, like a kite in the air. A weather warning had been issued earlier that day, according to her attorney, Michael Winkleman. Despite clear warnings for in the area for severe weather, as well as just visually looking at the sky, they still went out, they still took Katie in the air, and they exposed her to what could have been fatal risk. And they were so cavalier with Katie, they shouldn't have taken her up in the inclement weather. Today, Katie's mom is just happy her daughter is alive. It was literally the worst thing I've ever been through my whole life. Katie Malone has filed a lawsuit against the Paracel Company and Resort where they were operating. The resort says they don't comment on pending litigation. The operator didn't return our calls.